Okay. Here we start singing. Okay. I'm gonna play as Camilla with Joe today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like their choice of boss characters for um, the Crash Team Racing because it meant some less used characters in the standard franchise got used for a game, but it very often like Komodo Joe, Pinstripe as examples on Papu Papu. That meant they were in two games instead of one. It's, it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of crazy. So we're gonna use this one? No. No. I really need to unlock more stuff, but like, eh, it's quite a big grind, so. And I'm not just logged into the nets the whole time right now, so. It's watery. Mm, can't really see the pattern on that. Mm, that's nice. Looks like fancy. The wheels would go with it, I guess, so I'll just use those. So yeah, for these bonus tracks, they're actually quite hard, and I'm having a lot of trouble uh, making any progress with these. Uh, it feels like the difficulty is significantly increased. Like, um, like really increased, for the AI at least. Like, um... They're doing stuff and you're like, I don't know if there's even any secret passages, shortcuts or anything in this one. And they're just flying by you and like, it's like they're literally driving faster cars than you by like several magnitudes. You will see, here is the Spyro track. I actually like this track a lot. They did a good uh, they did a good, uh, a good thing. See, I'm seven for it, and now I'm eight. They're just, it's like I'm not, it's like I'm not moving. What the fuck? It's flying by me. You can just see them, like, just widening the gap all of the time. Like, I'm honestly sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know how the hell I'm are going to beat these because it's not just be great and never make a single mistake it's I don't even know <laughs> you know I don't even know how to like keep up with them like I am literally using stuff all of the time like the power-ups they're giving me and it's just and boosting and I'm still miles behind them I just I did the crossover with Spyro. That was pretty cool for this. Okay, it's a weird choice of characters that they brought though. They brought Spyro, Nasty Nork, and um, oh, Hunter, who they really turned into a dude bro. I used to remember thinking, ah, oh, Hunter's kind of cool, and I mentioned this in my Spyro playthrough. And then as you get older, you realize Hunter's a bit of a dude bro, and he's like that older brother who you think is cool when you're younger, and then you realize he's a bit of a loser, and he's like, yo, let's go do some skateboarding, my bruh. Yeah, I'm better than you at skateboarding. It's like, dude, why don't you have any friends? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wear all the safety gear when I'm skateboarding. Yeah, it just feels weird. Like, I personally would have been like, okay, those are good choices, I guess. And there's not many choices you can choose, but I would have loved to see money bags. Because I love to hate money bags. 
and I would have loved to have seen um, not Nasty North, but maybe I know why they took him, but like I don't know, Ripto would have been good, but like I, I think I would have preferred someone like I don't know if they're gonna bring Hunter in. That's what I mean. They're like half a field ahead of me, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But if they're gonna bring Hunter in, they could have brought in Hunter, and they could have brought in like Bianca. Or, no, Bianca's bunny. What's the, what's the girl, the fawn, cedar, character's name in Spyro 2? But they couldn't have taken them all from Spyro 2, but that's like the only place where there are characters that anyone really cares about, like, other than Spyro, and Sparks is too small. Hmm. Hmm. I really don't know what they did with Nasty Nork. But, eh. That's what they chose to do. And it's not just here, it's in every remaster of the franchise. They decided, we're gonna make him into a huge fucking dork. And you're like, yeah, he already was, but like, he was just like, more angry about it, you know? Track. This is Halloween. Again, look, watch them just fly away from me like I'm not even like part of the track. Like I'm driving a slower car. That guy recovers and then he's just, mm -hmm. just straight away. No, no, they're just driving by me like I'm not even fucking here. But I think they just fucked up the, the difficulty and just made it so it's basically impossible for these tracks. Like every new track, like these tracks, and obviously like the other ones they made, like Mega Mix, all of those, like the. I can kind of do the, um, the, the, the thing, the, the, the Egypt themed one, but I can't even do the dinosaur themed one very well, because it's just still really hard. Ah, no man. I do not know. Like, you know, I'm hitting them with clock after clock after clock and they're still just like, Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go faster than you, even in clocked mode. You get clocked. And then look, oh yeah, you got to 7th, how fucking dare you get back to 8th. What the hell, man? Like, I feel like I'm being hate crimes by the AI. It's a human player, kill him! Like, it's not challenging, it's just dipshit mode, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh yeah, you literally can't win, fuck you. But it's like when you're playing online, um, Mario Kart, and you watch a guy just use tools, so that he's working at triple speed to, to everyone else and just winning every time and going, ha, I'm winning. It's like, yeah, and you're ruining it for everyone who's here for fun. Because it's a fucking car racer, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're all here to take it uber seriously. So, like, I've always found that bizarre. Like, what is that? <laughs> we're having fun online. No, I need to hack to win. It's fucking Mario Kart. Get a life. You know? So, I used to play Dirt 2 online and I got pretty into it until I literally saw characters, uh, like players just teleporting their car to the finish line and going, I win. It's like, 
wow, you're just like the worst human being ever, like, that's your idea of fun? Like, I don't understand this, and like, there's thousands of podcasts talking about this thing. Like, you're not even playing the game. You're literally watching a robot cheat, and you're hacking the game to win. Like, what's the fucking point? And like, races get this a lot, because there's always a way to do it, and it's just like... You're just ruining it for everyone else, and it's like, oh, haha, like, it must be the most hollow victory ever. But, you know, it's coming from someone who used the money cheat in Sims and was like, wow, this really just gets boring after you bought everything that's available, because there's really nothing, you know, after that. Oh, uh, and they all, they all do one thing. See, I'm going so slowly here. I don't even know if that stuff's hitting them from this far away. On this juggalo fiend track. For some reason, this was the track where uh, oh, what's her name? Pasadena Opossum. Koala Kong? And, um... The, the other guy, the evil guy from the, the... The kart racing game I didn't play. Oh, look. Look out, guys. I got out of 8. Better missile my ass back into 8, guys. Oh no, I'm actually second! Oh. oh, here they come, flying past me like I just don't care. Yeah. See? And I stop boosting for a second and I'm back to fucking eight. Look at this shit, it's so busted! Oh my god, you all saw I went from 2nd to 8th on one final stretch, what the hell? I'm so soul. <laughs> yeah, I can't see myself ever being able to beat this. I'm gonna have to find ways to like... I don't know, maybe there's a shortcut I'm missing... I don't know. Oh man. It's just, I cannot see it happening. Like, I could do the Nitro Kart ones and I could do the retro, the original ones, but I just get the feeling that, like, these ones, I'm just never gonna be able to complete them and I don't know how to. Clearly the Easter themed one, am I right? The Soul Invictus themed one. This feels like it would have been one of the tracks just chucked in on iPad for a special event, you know what I mean? Like it's like really immaculately detailed, but you sit here and you think this would be the kind of track that would have been left in a uh, like iPad track with um, Yaya Panda. Seriously, I was like, what the fuck's a Yaya Panda? Then? Like, oh my god, I hate Yaya Panda. I'm gonna play as Yaya Panda, and you're all gonna see what I mean. Because she's just like. I don't wanna be an asshole, but you know, there are some people who are just like. You can feel it. You can feel how fake they are just through the way they speak, and it's like, oh, they're just... And you're a character. You're a cartoon character, and I can still... You know, these guys are like, yeah, wahoo, like, you know, it's just normal stuff. 
and she's just like that really pushy person who gets in your face and is like screaming, hi, oh my god, at like fucking everything, and you're just like, oh, you're not even part of the canon, you're just from an iPad game, go away, why are you in the game? They always put random panda characters into games lately, <laughs> I swear this feels like, you know, iPad game of famous franchise always creates its own OC if it's like a animal theme, and it's always a fucking panda. Like, I don't even know why, like, it feels like every single time, maybe because all of these iPad games are made by companies in China. I have no idea if that's true. That's just a random guess by me here. I will spam masks until I get out of the It will do nothing. I don't know if that's why it is even true, but it feels like... Why does every iPad game of a beloved franchise just add a random Chinese panda, no, a panda in Chinese outfit. Maybe I just feel like I'm crazy and that's not true, but I feel like she's not the only one. I really think she isn't. So I lost. Like, I got, I didn't even get a single point. 